All right, welcome again, everyone. It's Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. The word for you today can be found in Matthew 6, chapter 6, verse 32. Your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. So for the future, that's S O W, for the future. Jesus gave this advice to a group of people who were anxious about their finances. Don't worry about these things. Your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs, and He will give you everything you need. And that's uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 to 33. He will do this from day to day. If you live for Him and make the kingdom of God your primary concern, what do you fear most? Not having enough money or not having God's blessing? On your finances. If you fear, if you fear of not having enough is trumped by your fear of missing out on God's involvement in your finances, you'll invest in something that can't fail God's kingdom. You'll sow generously. As a result, you'll experience peace that can be explained rationally and a joy that comes from knowing God is your backer, your banker, and your blesser. The Bible talks about casting your cares upon him, for he careth for you, 1 Peter 5 and 7. None of us can escape financial uncertainty. As one pastor writes, when the unexpected rolls around, he will be affected. Our net worth and possibly our income will be impacted. And at times like that, when everything seems to be up for grabs, we long for the assurance that we're not alone. We want to know with certainty that when we cast our financial cares on our Heavenly Father, He will, in fact, take care of us. Ironically, financial peace of mind doesn't come from hoarding and withholding, but from giving when it doesn't seem to make sense. It's your willingness to give now that guarantees God's presence to come back to you when you need it. That's why it's imperative to sow generously anytime you can. And by blessing others, you become a blessing to them and God returns those blessings abundantly. So that's our word for you today. So for the future, God bless you and God keep you is our prayer.